since I've got it down here, I thought it'd be a good time to do a walk around on the old 4320. Um, this is the biggest tractor we have here, and I think they were rated at 115 horse. I think somebody's been monkeying with the pump on this one, so I'd say it's <laughs> that or more. This tractor came from Springfield, Illinois. And uh, I got this tractor and this left rear wheel was locked up, wouldn't move. You could do really awesome left-handed donuts, but that's about it. I took a chance on it, I took a gamble. Most people were scared of it. I took it apart and right in here, the brake plate was broke. It's got a big disc brake on these John Deere's, big wet disc brake in there. And the disc brake plate was broke, and it was binding on the uh, on the calipers, actually, or whatever you would call that in there. They're like pad, caliper pads. And that had this wheel locked up. Took it apart. $200 later, good tractor. But it is a sweetheart. I did another addition to it the john deere skinny batteries that go in there in my opinion are junk they're over a hundred dollars for 300 cranking amps less than 400 cranking amps anyway they're not much now we've got a workhorse this started being my toolbox i got tired of buying batteries for this tractor every two years so one semi battery cranks it Took these. Let me get the other one. Toolboxes. Put some sheet metal on the back. Makes darn handy toolboxes. Then you don't have to worry about your batteries shorting out below the floorboard. And what I love about it, look how simple the cables are. One power cable, one ground. Nothing to it. Simple simple and that's what makes reliability that's what makes less problems but 18 438s these tractors were pretty darn nice there's one sign Everybody thinks they're just a souped up 4020, and they're not. They have some differences. The transmission gears are a little bit bigger in these tractors. Actually, reverse isn't synchronized on these to make room for bigger gears. And um, also, I think, I'd have to look, they're, I think they're about 10 inches longer. Or either that or the wheelbase is 10 inches longer. They've got a bigger radiator. They've got piston squirters on the bottom of the piston. All things that were done to this tractor by John Deere to keep it cool and make it last. You know, you can have all the horsepower in the world, but if you got to rebuild it every thousand hours, it's not good for much. So they didn't just put a turbo on it and turn it up. That's not what happened. The radiator's bigger, the air cleaner's bigger. Actually, the air cleaner is a little bit different than on the 4020. I like it a lot better. It's turned sideways. They got a bigger fuel tank. It's got about a 45-gallon fuel tank compared to, I think, what, 33 on your guys' 4020s? And it likes the fuel. Not really for, for the, you know, it, it, it drinks more than a 4020, but it's not hard on fuel by any means. come up here you won't notice the difference just like a 4020 everything's the same except for when you look down that hood she's a little bit wider it's a little bit wider a little bit longer than a 4020 Ooh, we need some, some wd on this tractor i've got my led switches and everything up here Great tractors. Find a good one, pick it up. Let's see if she'll start and go for a little drive, maybe.
and subscribe. Please. Never.